Hi, I'm Morgan, and I'm here with my special guest, Caitlin, and we're here for this week's broadcast. So Cam, it's been a busy week for you here in basketball, hasn't it? Yes, it has. So first, how do you feel about getting that first win? It's good, it's needed, and hopefully it propels us in the right direction. Now, from what I heard, you threw on your first career dunk in that game. Yes, I did. How, was, how, how does that feel? felt great. Uh, I got a breakaway steal. Nobody chased me down, and I jumped and threw it down. It, was, it felt good. And the reaction was kind of stunning at first, but it, it's good to do it for once. Within that game, you also managed to drop your career high 36 points. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. How are you feeling? Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't feel that good going into the game, like physically. But once I got going, and got I had four steals, re easy eight points, and the dunk, so ten points were out the gate. And I just said, you know, I'm just keep keep going at them. Uh, my coach and the rest of the team gave me a lot of confidence, saying, hey, keep doing your thing, and just kept beating them up inside. Now, some of us saw the Chris Massey tweet about how your performance was. How did it feel to have him tweet about you? Uh, it, it was cool. I mean, I, he's he's tweeted about me before, but not like that. He had uh, a lot of nice things to say, and it's it's re rewarding seeing somebody who a lot who everybody in the area for sports lo looks at and reads about. It's nice to have him talk about you. Last question here: How does it feel to be named Player of the Week for this week? Uh, f that's my first time ever being named Player of the Week, and uh, it's nice. It's an, it's nice to get recognized, and. Uh, the other guy I got it, uh, Landon Henry, I'm good friends with, and me, me and him laughed about it a little bit. So it, it was it was re rewarding to get Player of the Week. Well, congrats, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Colton, and I'm here with Lucas from the wrestling team. So how is the season going so far? It's going pretty good. Uh, the team's 2-3, and three and I'm 10-3. and three. A couple of tough losses to some tough kids. Just got to improve a little bit. Since you're a senior, um, what are your goals for your last year? I think pretty much for any senior playing any sport, they want to make it to states and place. So that's probably the top notch goal for me right now. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you, Colton. Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Brooke. And we're here with the Winter Sports Update. Right now the records are boys basketball 1-7, and seven, wrestling 2-3, and three, and girls basketball 0-8. and eight. It's safe to say that these records certainly don't represent the hard work and dedication that our sports teams have been putting in this season. We'd like to wish them the best of luck for the rest of their seasons. Now let's check in with the TSA project with Alex, Justin, and Kyle. Alex, with Mr. Arg for the TSA projects. So Mr. Arg, for the people that don't know, what is TSA? Uh, TSA stands for the Technology Student Association. Uh, it's an organization made up of students like you that uh, make projects that are related to different areas of technology. Uh, specifically here at Montgomery, we have communications, we have production and engineering, and some construction. So kids are engaged in hands-on activities and it kind of promotes that type of their education. All right, and how are the guys doing on their projects down there? Uh, things are coming along real nicely this year. Uh, we've added a new teacher, Mr. Workman, and he's been working extensively with the kids and bringing them in uh, on Saturday mornings. Uh, they were in several days over break. Uh, Mr. Rank, myself, we've all been working with the kids as well. Uh, looking forward to a pretty good regional competition coming up here at the end of the month. And I also heard that Montgomery's hosting the regionals next year, is that true? That's true. This year, uh, students are going to be traveling to Mifflinburg High School to participate in the Region 7 competition. Uh, next year, Montgomery, the next two years actually, Montgomery is going to be hosting the regional competition. So for all of you students out there uh, look, looking for something maybe in the leadership roles, uh, Technology Student Association is going to offer some really unique opportunities for you to get involved next year and actually help host this, this big event. Hi, I'm Justin here with JT um, for the TSA. So what are some of the projects you're doing right now? Uh, this year's kind of interesting. We're doing something that <clears throat> sorry, we've never done before. 
I mean, every year uh, we get pretty in depth with some woodwork, and this year we're actually going to do some steel steel work. Uh, we're actually going to build bumpers for a truck and take them down. Uh, originally, we planned on doing a cooker, but it ended up being too big, so we kind of changed gears here a little bit. Um, also, we're building CO2 cars right now, uh, flight endurance planes, which are uh, rubber band powered planes. And basically, you go to TSA and you test them who can fly them the longest. Um, I'm doing a little bit of work over here in Mr. Oryx's room on the computer with graphics. And, I mean, just the usual CAD, I mean, a little bit of 3D modeling here and there. And that's pretty much it for me. Um, so, how, how are those projects going? Uh, I'm, of course, just like every other year, we're a little bit behind. Uh, it'll be interesting here the next month or so to see what we can get done in our crunch time, so to say. All right, thank you. Yep. Hi, I'm Alex here with Jason with the TSA project. So, Jason, how are the TSA projects going? They're coming along pretty well. Uh, there are some times that we waited to the last minute to get some things done, so we're trying to get those projects finished up and get them submitted. And what are you doing for those projects? Uh, a lot of the projects that I'm involved in are the CAD 3D engineering, the drawing on the computer, and like prototyping, and making parts. So, thank you. Thank you. What can I get you? Um, can I have a cup of Joe, please? No. Let's go to Joe. Hey guys, it's Joe, and I'm here with Miss Robinson, and we're going to be talking about the Ag Bio class. So, Miss Robinson, what are some new things that have been taught in this class this year? It's been a very fun class. We've had a lot of opportunities this year that we've never had before. We received a grant with some money and we were able to purchase some new equipment and we're using that so far. We've grown some seeds. We have uh, planted some plants. We have trout in a tank downstairs that we're raising. We have some hydroponic kits that we're setting up right now and we've been able to take some interesting field trips. Can you tell us a little bit about the field trips you guys have gone on? Yes, um, we visited a chicken farm last week, and it was very large scale, not just somebody's hen house in the backyard, but uh, mass production, very interesting to see that many birds and all the technical uh, input that's used to maintain them. So in your opinion, do you feel like this is a class that a lot more kids will continue to take throughout the years? Well, we hope so. It's something that people in the area can use. It's very practical, and it's a, a good outdoor profession for people who like that style. All right. Well, thank you for being the interview with us. Thank you. And uh, it sounds like a really good class. So if you guys are into stuff like that, please, next year and the years after, please take that class. And thank you. Have fun. Thank good you. promotion. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Joe, and today on Cup of Joe, I'm here with Lane, and we're going to be talking about the new class that's offered to students known as the Bio-Ag class. So Lane, what got you to want to take this class? Well, I didn't want to take any hard classes like physics my senior year, so I figured I'd take a class for something I would enjoy. Sounds interesting. Uh, so what are some of the things that are offered in this Bio-Ag class? Well, for example, right now we're raising trout in the classroom that helps us study water the life in water in the spring will be released. That sounds really fun. So in the bio ag class, is most of the stuff hands on that you do? Yeah, it's very, very hard. Alright, uh, I hear you guys get a lot of field trips too, like quite a few this year so far. Yeah, yeah we've had quite a few this year. We that sounds fun. To the chicken farm, we went to the seed farm. So it sounds like this class is a very good one to take, and uh, so do you recommend this class to upcoming students then? Yeah, definitely. Oh, well, you heard it here. Take the class. It sounds like it's a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Now to the question of the week with Carter, Colton, and Taylor. Hey, it's Tyler and Carter here. With cold weather upon us, we'd like to know what your favorite winter activity is. I'm here with Jenna. Jenna, what's your favorite winter activity? Basketball season. I'm with Jermaine. Jermaine, what's your favorite winter activity? Basketball. Brayden, what's your favorite winter activity? Uh, I'd have to say hunting. I'm here with Brandon. Brandon, what's your favorite winter activity? Um, I guess if it's snowing, the sledding. I'm here with Kaylin Geyer. Kaylin, what's your favorite winter activity? I would say hunting with my friends. I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, what's your favorite winter activity? My favorite winter activity is tubing at Ski Sawmill. There's some pretty friendly teachers in our school. And some of us got to go sit down and chat with them. 
Hi, I'm Courtney. And I'm Annalise. And we're here with Mr. Hunter. So, Mr. Hunter, how is the school year going? Uh, it's been great so far. As a second year teacher, uh, it's so much better, like having the lesson plans made and already knowing the students and teachers. So, it's been a pretty good year so far, Court. And how do you think it can improve? Can improve? Well, I'm, I mean, I can always do better as a teacher. I mean, the things that I'm doing here, like I'd love to see cross country take off and like be a real sport with a, a junior high program and a high school program. Um, all these that like make a difference club, seeing more students volunteer. But for myself, I just want to push myself harder, like to get more involved in Montgomery. Um, I need to be more social here. Um, but just in general, like go all in for this place. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vanessa here with Mrs. Becker interviewing her about what she likes to do outside of school. So what do you like to do outside of school? Love to read, especially horror and supernatural books. Um, I love to play and try to train my German Shepherd. And I help take care of my father. And what's the German Shepherd's name? Her name is Gabby, because she's a very mouthy dog. She likes to bark a lot. And what horror stories do you like to read? I actually like short stories. Um, they really freak you out. Well, I don't like Stephen King, but other horror stories. Um, I also like paranormal things. Uh, Neil Gaiman's one of my favorite authors. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Melissa Rogers. I'm here at Miss Hack doing a teacher talk on what they do outside of school that we wouldn't expect. So what are some things you do? Um, well, right now I've been preparing for the babies. <laughs> um, but before that, I actually worked with my brother a lot and we did a lot of crafting. And we would just go to craft shows and um, I really enjoyed building things and we would do woodwork and painting. What were some of your favorite crafts? Um, we would make a lot of signs. Um, so we I'm pretty good at cutting the wood now. <laughs> so we do that and then um, piece them together and kind of design some things on the computers and make stencils and um, then do the painting. So that was pretty cool. All right, thank you. Yeah. So Kayla, do you travel a lot? Uh, not much. Well, our broadcasting team does. Let's go to Cheyenne with the world news. Hello, I'm Cheyenne and I'm here for your world news. Donald Trump has named his son-in-law, Jerry Kushner, one of his top advisors as he enters the White House this year. That wraps up this broadcast. I'm Morgan. And I'm Caitlin. And we'll see you next week.